That's recording. I'm a porg! This is We Ride Star Wars Episode 1. Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! dun. Ah! Hold for theme music. It's so lovely for you to have joined me today on my couch. Um, this is full of vodka. Is it? Is it? It's not. It's not. Kids back home. It's not. Um, I'm Shannon. You just hit me in the face. I'm so sorry. Are you sure? You're not full of vodka? Hi. Your face is full of vodka. I'm Shannon. I'm Sarah Renee. And we're gonna write Star Wars. Yeah. So, um, today we're gonna talk about a topic that we talk about a lot. <laughs> just a little bit. I talk about it more than Shannon does. Wait, I was gonna set our, a timer. Okay, that's right. So, um, we are going to try to keep these episodes, like, 20 to 30 minutes, so we're going to be on a timer. Also because the camera only records 28 minutes at a time. <laughs> so I was just yeah. double-checking that it was half an hour and not... <laughs> yep. Um, uh, All right, so, like, set it for, yeah, 20 minutes. Okay. okay. So, tell us who Mara Jane is, Sarah. Mara Jane! The, as Mara the Jane Skywalker. As the expert yes. on the subject. <laughs> put on too bad I wasn't I was put on my glasses um, so Mara Jade is a character from the Star Wars Expanded Universe that is generally called Legacies now um, once the, the new canon started um, and she is Luke Skywalker's um, wife <laughs> thanks <laughs> that really sums it up I that guess that sums her up um, she but tell us who she is She's really important, Shannon. No. <laughs> so she's a redheaded lady assassin, which if you know anything about me, you know I, I love those redheaded lady assassins. Yeah, we Well, know. former assassin. Um, so she uh, was raised by the emperor, emperor um, and she was the emperor's hand. One of them. There were several. Um, even though she thought she was the only one, and she had a, a mind connection with him that he used to kind of, like, control her. And when he died, he sent her the last command, which was, you will kill Luke Skywalker. Um, she then became a smuggler, and she was a smuggler for several years, but after about three years of that, she, um, runs into Luke Skywalker and is like, I'm gonna kill you, and he's like, "Oh, you're cute. Um... And then she um, <laughs> runs into Leia, and she's like, Leia, I'm going to kill your brother. And Leia's like, no, you aren't. Um, so she and Luke team up. There's this point where they're, like, on a, a planet without the Force for a while, and she's, like, threatening him. And um, they become friends-ish, and then she manages to um, defeat this last command by... Okay, so a dark Jedi creates a clone of Luke from Luke's hand that was cut off in Bespin, and she kills the clone of Luke, who is Luke Skywalker, except Luke is spelled with two U's. And after that, Luke uh, gives... Real Luke, actual Luke, who is not dead, uh, gives her Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber and is like, come be my first Jedi, and she's like, nope, and gets out of there. Um, and then they're, like, kind of friends for ten years, and then she disappears, and then he has a fourth vision of her being dead and goes to rescue her because they're in love and they don't know it, and uh, they end up yelling at each other for two weeks on this planet and then, like, get in this battle and form a force bond, and literally the proposal is, like, Luke's, like, um... You're not going to make this easy for me. Mara, will you marry me? And she's like, you mean if we get out of here alive? And he's like, I mean, regardless. And it's great, and it's super romantic. It's really not. Um, so then they get married, and they have a kid named Ben Skywalker. And we completely ignore that the Vong War happened, because it's terrible. And that's time. And <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. For listening. <laughs> I was just kind of looking for, she was hired to kill Luke. She wasn't hired to kill she Luke. She was told. She was told to kill Luke. Told to she kill Luke. You know, I tried to keep it short, her. and then you were like, "Give me more," and I was like, "You're keeping short." You asked was, for it. She's his wife. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> what? So I think I kept that pretty short in the grand scheme, in the of, grand things. scheme of things. So Last Jedi comes out December 
15th. I should know that yeah. for sure, but I do not. But I'm Google it. You sure. have the phone right there. Um, today is October 19th. It is. I thought we might, you know, want to put, like, a time stamp on it. Um, and we're going to write The Last Jedi, but specifically we're going to write um, Mara Jade into The Last Jedi. Because we she... we do this a lot. It yes. is December 15th. Yes, she needs to be canon. She's um, important. So basically, what what we operate, the assumption we operate under when we talk about Mara Jade is that she in in the movie universe that is still canon, Mara Jade exists and married Luke, and the, and Ray is their child, and this, she's still al- and, and, and she's, she's still, still alive. alive because in the expanded universe she was killed off by. A actual, I don't know if she's a neo-Nazi or if she's a neo-Nazi sympathizer, but at this point it's basically the same thing. And also, we um, acknowledge that if there, if Mara Jade ends up being like a thing in the movie, she's probably not going to be named Mara Jade. Because, no. because Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo is like named he after has Ben Skywalker. Skywalker. Yeah, he has Ben Skywalker's <laughs> name, but he's basically Jason Solo. From the expanded universe. From the expanded universe. So we know that they are taking these things from the expanded universe and kind of changing little things about them. So we were like, so if Mara Jade was in it, she probably wouldn't be called Mara Jade because only expanded universe fans would be like, oh, Mara Jade! But she might have, like, Mara Jade features, like, red hair and be an assassin and married to Luke. Um, yeah. So we've been trying to decide, like, how Mara Jade would be incorporated into it. So we want to talk about our favorite version of this theory. <laughs> Which we came up with Shannon's sister, Colleen, yes, many she'll moons ago. kill us if, she doesn't, if we don't mention her. Colleen, hi. You helped us come up with this theory. She also loves Mara Jade. So, it's basically... Um, the theory started when we when it was it's announced that on, Captain Phasma's face is not going to be Gwendolyn Christie. Well, not that it's not going to be Gwendolyn Christie. It's not going to be what you expect, and it's not going to be what... Um, Gwendolyn, there's a promo photo that was released for Last Jedi where she's not wearing her helmet, and they said like, but that's not what she's gonna look like because she just looks like Gwendolyn Christie. Yes, and we were like, and there's also a theory that like a small theory that's like that Captain Phasma is Rey's mom because they both have a British accent, and I was like, why not both? <laughs> I, don't, I didn't say two things there that make sense. I know. But what if? Captain Phasma was Mara Jade and Ray's mom. Yeah, but then and then I was like, no, but then we'd get this amazing parallel move moment in The Last Jedi mm-hmm. where, you know, Ray Phasma has Ray like backed up somewhere and because, it's like Because Force Awakens is a new hope. Yes. And so Last Jedi is gonna be Empire State. And so back. then she's like she's and then and then she's like, and, and in this theory, she's like brainwashed or she's undercover or something. And she's thought we that like decided undercover. I think yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah, we were like, but she's like, what did Luke tell you about your mother? And she Ray says something that's the uh, equivalent of like he told me enough. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. killed her. Yeah, and then yeah. she's like. No, Ray. And then she pulls off she the pulls helmet. She pulls off the helmet. And, and the helmet. red hair comes out. I am your mother! That's really the image that yes. we, this, this whole thing is based, is based on. <laughs> is she pulls off the helmet. She I am it. Yeah. And it's red hair. And all the Expanded Universe fans are like, holy shit. I lose shit. my goddamn mind in the movie theater. And, and everyone Shannon else can't the, control Yeah, like me. three people in the movie theater start screaming. And everyone else is like... Okay, she has red hair. The three people screaming is me. <laughs> and then there are three other people who know what Gwendolyn Christie looks like, and are like, what? <laughs> um, and everyone else is like, okay, so she has red hair. Um, but, so yeah, so let's talk about if Captain Phasma was Ray's mom, and she was Mara Jade, or whatever her name would be in the movies. I think that what we came up with is that, uh, basically the explanation we came up with is that Luke, Luke and Mara both think Ray is dead, and like and like Luke and Mara think the other's dead or something like that or yeah. well and part of the reason that we think like Captain Phasma or like someone else in the Empire like like if another kind of assassin figure was introduced in the next movie who's kind of like 
Captain Phasma, but we like thinking Captain Phasma, that's fun. Mm-hmm. Um, but someone who's in the Empire who you don't see their face, because then it parallels that in the Expanded Universe, Mara Jade worked for the Emperor. Mm-hmm. So um, you still get that like kind of um, enemy thing. But I like her not actually being an enemy. I like her being undercover. undercover. So she's undercover as Captain Phasma. And I think that works. I don't think we ever saw Captain Phasma, like, kill someone in the first movie. I can't Mm. be entirely sure. It was never, like, a focus if it did happen. It was, like, in the back. Which, like, if if it ends up being, like, a a good guy. Like, Mara (laughs) kills people. Yeah. Like, and then she's also, like, her as a character, she's, like, very brusque, I think is the best word. She's not, like, airy... Fairy, sunshine, rainbows. That's Luke. Luke is sunshine and rainbows, and Mara's just like, okay. That's nice. Mm, That's That's nice. nice, That's okay. (laughs) So, Also, she calls Luke farm boy, and that's just really important to me. It's so cute. So, um, Rey, they lose Rey in some way. How did that happen? Um, I, I like to think that the people who left Rey on the planet, on Jakku, uh-huh. the, the ship that we see flying off, is not, is like her caretakers. Yeah, sure. It's not her parents. So, and then something happened to the ship, and they don't know if it happened before or after they dropped Rey off. So they assume that she's lost. I just or they dropped her off. Like, what if Rey was given up for adoption, basically? Like, I don't know why Luke and Mara or whoever wouldn't keep their baby. But just what if like in the expanded she was never raised by them. Yes. Never meant to. Um be. in the expanded universe, um the Vong War, which I like to pretend doesn't happen, mm-hmm. um cuz the only good thing that happens during the Vong War is Ben Skywalker is born. Um Ben Skywalker and several other Jedi younglings. It's been a while since I've read these books, because, again, I don't like reading them, because I, I just don't. I think it's, I think the entire war is stupid, and they kill off a bunch of very beloved characters, and it's, it's just awful. Um, but they send off, Ben spends a lot of time, like, like, his formative years, not with Luke and Mark. Like, they visit him, but like he's being, solo. he's not being really raised, like yeah, he's being raised in, like, just, just, like, a safe uh-huh. A safe house for, like, all a bunch of different kids. Like, just, um, like, just kind of like they were evacuated, essentially, um, to keep them safe. So I could see that, especially, like, if the First Order was, yeah. like, gaining power, if they, like, were trying to evacuate, especially if, if Kylo killed a bunch of the Jedi, and they were just trying to evacuate her, and then they somehow lost track of her. I could see that more than, like, giving... Than giving her up for adoption. adoption. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. I was just like, that's... Yeah, but I... I Like, I was trying to think of something other than just, like, oh, a bad guy is coming, or, oh, like, Kylo Ren has gone crazy and is killing all the younglings. Let's send Rey away. So something... I like that because it's, like, a bigger thing. It's, like, you know, um, World War, whatever. Mm -hmm. Which one? It's World War... Five in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Um, so, but like kids get evacuated. Um, yeah, and then that's good because it parallels back to. Um, it could also be she was left years. like in the wrong place. Like she wasn't yeah. supposed to be left on Jakku. So that's yeah. Well, lost it track could of be. Her. Oh, we're gonna take all the kids, or like the kids are all put into different ships or whatever, and it's like they're each. We know where they're gonna go, but then like for some reason whoever's driving this ship can't get there. And so it's like, okay, we're going to drop her off here because we, like... Or, like, the First Order is coming and they get the kid They get the kid off. Yeah. And they go to fight and then the ship's destroyed. Yeah. So it's like, oh, for whatever reason, we couldn't go through with the full plan. We have to leave her here. But we they don't get to tell Luke slash Mara. Yeah. What happened to her. And they and, die. And so then, and then that makes sense because if their ship gets blown up or whatever, Luke and Mara think that their kid was on that ship. And yes, said. exactly. Which I think is, is no matter like who raised parent, like if they go with she's either um, Han and Leia's or Luke and, and Luke's wife's kid, I think it makes the most sense if they think she was killed on that ship. Yeah, especially, Something I mean, especially happened if she was on that Luke ship. and Leia's, it wouldn't make sense for them to think that they're 
daughter is alive out there somewhere because then they would have said something in the first Yes, exactly. they would have been looking for this entire time. Yeah. Because part of the problem is that I'm like, I'm like, <coughs> Luke, Luke and Mara and Han and Leia, as we saw in The Force Awakens, would never abandon their child. And yeah. that's, that's the difficult thing. So I think it's more like, likely I that she's see... lost. Like, it's like I could see Luke and Mara, like, sending her away briefly for whatever reason, but it, and, like, I could see Luke feeling the need to leave everyone as he did, but that was obviously much later than whenever Ray was left. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I could also see, I could also see Mara's, like, trying to find Ray, and then Luke's on his little planet with the porgs being really sad and every now and then Mara subs fine and are like are you done yet and he's like no no and she's like okay okay so here's so, my ship you can get on whenever you want so to. Mara goes undercover yeah let's go back Mara goes undercover okay so what about this so because we're like okay so Luke doesn't know she's alive she doesn't know Luke's alive yeah so they get separated at some point either they separate on purpose to like go do different things or they accidentally get separated yeah what what if it's like she gets kidnapped by the first order and then she's like basically like let me join you or they're like you're you're a powerful asset or they're like us. and she's like the form the, the sure. emperor's hand and she's like well I guess I'm gonna cash in on this nonsense all right yeah if we go with like she did work for the emperor before Which I think we should sure that's why cool. not that's um. Badass. I mean, it's not, it's terrible, but it's also about that. Yeah, so, yeah, maybe she, or maybe she, when they, like, kidnap her, she's like, oh, yeah, like, I've been working for your side this whole time. Yeah, I've been, I've been killed. Look at all these people I totally killed. I totally killed all those people. (laughs) And they're like, you're married to Luke fucking Skywalker. And she's like, no, I'm not. And she's like, no, he's dead. I killed him. And they're like, no, you didn't. Oh, well... (laughs) I don't know. Obviously not that. But no, so somehow she is like, she knows that's the only way she's going to live. And she also knows that that would be the best way to find her child again if she's alive. Because they would be searching for, you know, survivors and and stuff. Since it seems like Finn was like taken from his family to be a stormtrooper... She might think that Ray was placed with yeah. storm troop, became a stormtrooper. So she, it could be, they're trying to track down these kids that have been evacuated that are probably force sensitive kids, and maybe trying to get them to be stormtroopers. And so she's like, "This is the best way to try to find my kid if it if she's still yeah alive. yeah." Ooh, this is really good. This is really okay. good. This is why we should write Ooh, Star this Wars. Is so good. You know what I like though? I like the idea that so she's Captain Phasma, and. She obviously has been training Finn. Maybe she saw something in Finn, and she's part of the reason that Finn doesn't, like, go super bad, because she's like, let me just, like... She's, like, she's, I don't know what she does, but she's, she's, she's kind shielding of... shielding him from the, like, brainwashing. She's, she's pushing Finn in the right direction. Yeah. And maybe she does that with other stormtroopers, too, and it doesn't necessarily work. Or it does work, and we just don't know mind. about them. Yeah. But, um, because obviously there would be more people at Captain Phasma's level training people, but, like, she's kind of planting these seeds in yeah, little Yeah, she can't ways. be too obvious, because, you no, know. No, because if a bunch of, if stormtroopers kept defecting from her unit, they'd be like, hey, Phasma, this obviously your problem. Um, and she'd be like, I'll kill all of you, I killed Luke Skywalker. Um, <laughs> and they'd be like, no, we know he's I killed Luke Skywalker! No, no, no. Flashback to evil clone Luke Skywalker that she did actually kill. I feel like that if if she, even if she did work for the Emperor, we would not go into Clone Luke Skywalker. Uh, we in need to go into Clone that can, Luke Skywalker. That can be in new expanded universe <laughs> books. That can be in new books, but that, is that my can't be in the movies. Ridiculous people, expanded universe. People thing. who do not know oh, about yes. the expanded universe, but to be watching this flashback, like what the hell? <laughs> but it explains so much. Okay, so Captain Phasma. <laughs> Um, yeah. We, we got two minutes. Okay. So, um, <laughs> what happens now? I don't know. Okay, so. She takes, uh, Ray takes why, her to Luke. Okay, here's my question. Why, has she been in contact with Luke? Mara. Yes. No. No, why not? Just because she doesn't want to risk thinks, it? Either she thinks he's dead or she doesn't want to risk it. I feel like, hmm. 
Maybe or, for... Or she is. It's like what I mentioned, like, every now and then check-ins. Like, are yeah. you, are you well, done it's, yet? It's definitely only Luke. It's yeah. not, like, Han and Leia. No. Especially because Luke has run off. But also, like, if Han and Leia knew that she was alive, then... I feel like they'd say something. I mean, they would try to rescue her. Say something, but like it would have come up. So she only contacts Luke, or she doesn't contact Luke. Maybe she thinks Luke's dead for a little while, and then something comes up where it's like, oh, we knew no Luke Skywalker is alive, but he's missing. She's like, you don't find you. So then she is trying to use her resources to find Luke. So that's how, and that's what she was trying to get the maps from the beginning of the movie. Because she's actually just trying to find Luke. Yeah, I know. Because she that's loves her him hubby. so much. Yeah. And she's going to fly in with all of her stormtroopers and then just turn around and blow up the ship and be like, Honey! I'm home! <laughs> while the ship blows up behind Luke. I see you found our daughter! Or, and all these porks! But, okay, but obviously that's not what would happen in like a good movie. That would just happen in <laughs> movie. But what would happen is somehow it comes to a head where she's trying to find him and... Ray is trying to do whatever Ray to is trying to do kill and Kylo Ren or whatever. No, Ray, I am your mother. And uh, Taz and Faz is so there, good. and Luke is there because Luke probably doesn't want to leave his island. And then Ray's like, "No, you should leave the island with me," but he doesn't. And then Ray goes off, and then Luke's like, "I should go." And then he goes because he definitely thinks Mars dead. I don't know if he should go because if we're doing like parallels, Yoda doesn't go. Yoda tells him he should. I think go. it's important that Luke. Leaves true. his island. Because Yoda... It, we're out of time. But we're out of time. We're out of time. But I want to say, Yo, Yoda's in hiding for his safety and for, like, the safety of the galaxy. I mean, Luke... Versus Luke is just being Luke a sad baby. Luke thinks that's why he's in hiding, and maybe that's how it started. But now it, it's he like... a sad baby, Luke. You need to go. And especially since Hans died and, like... Leia, you know, Kylo Ren is evil, and so it's like Leia is his only family, and he's Leia's only family, and so he needs to go. And then oh, Captain Phasma okay. pulls off her helmet and is like... It's Marjane. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Yeah, or listening, because I don't know... Yeah, let us write Star gonna... Wars. Yeah, let us write Star Wars. Um, We'll be back some other time. Yeah, probably with more Mara Jane. Pause for theme music. <laughs> Whatever that's going to be. <laughs> Dun 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 dun